the bears and hunting are a little bit more swappity. Hey, we're all packed up. We're headed up to Minnesota. We're going bear hunting. Good friend of mine, Bernie Berenger, he's a, an authority on black bears. One of the best uh, bear hunters I know. Uh, but anyway, we're going up to Minnesota. Bears have been hitting the baits real active. A lot of bears. I think he said he had seven color phase bears. So we are going to try our luck in Minnesota. Take me six years to get this permit. My lid broke. Got a crutch, keeping everything in place. But yeah, wish us luck. It's about a 12 hour drive. Opening day, September 1st. Go kill a bear. So we got this wide load in front of us in this construction zone, and I think it's wedged between these two concrete things. We're, like now we're stuck on the interstate behind this wide load wedge between concrete. Hey, we arrived at bear camp, we got our bow sighted in, we got our pack, now it's just gonna be a waiting game. You know, we're gonna get in our stands, we could have action in a couple minutes, it might take days, you know. Bear hunting is a game of waiting, waiting for those few seconds of excitement. Don't ask me about the guy running through camp in a towel. Uh, what happens in bear camp stays in bear camp. All right, it's opening day here, uh, Minnesota bear season, September 1st. Got a couple uh, baits we're gonna go bait, uh, come back, get lunch, go out about two, three o'clock. Should be a good day, weather's beautiful, temperatures are perfect. Good day for killing the bear. All right, we just got unpacked. He took uh, Don and Terry to their stands. Me and Jason are just kind of hanging back with Virgil. And we'll be going to our stands, so see what happens. All right, we just got in our stand. We had a bear at the bait when we pulled up, a very big bear. And casually ran off. So uh, 426 now, got three and a half hours. But these bears have just been coming in here like crazy. We'll see what happens. Bone Wild TV is brought to you by Expedition Archery, Element Outdoors, Reveal Cellular Camera, Tacticam, Scrape Fix, Evolution Outdoors, BW Arms, and Labette County, Kansas. It's in your nature.
We've been in the stand maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Bear came up over here to my right, circled around, came into the bait. I think the shot was low. We're just going to have to give this bear some time. I think we'll find this bear. Bernie asked me how big it was, and I said, geez, Bernie, I don't know. They all look big to me. Can't even communicate with Bernie because I've lost all my service out here, so I don't know what to do. Oh, stay put. It's coming in shortly. Let me show you something. Got a handsome fellow right there. All right, cute little toodles. Now here comes Bernie. Got the poor little side by side something. I'm gonna see what happens. What's going on? Sounds like they got the whole cavalry. Probably pulling a trailer. That's how confident they are. Optimistic about a trailer. Here we go. See what happens. So what's your story, Wishbone? The bear came in. Let me get situated. Was it the only one you saw? Mm-hmm. Bear came in. 50 yards out. Yeah. Circled in. I watched him for a long time. I was like, do I shoot? I mean, not a long time. Four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably two minutes. I watched him and I debated. I was he said, when I first saw the bear over there, he looked like a freaking stud. Yeah. And then I kept second guessing myself. I was like, yep, yeah, shooter. No, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Finally, I'm like, yeah, he's a shooter. He's not. Not a giant. Cub. Yeah. But he's not. I don't think he's a cub either. <laughs> right. kind of just cut through this or followed that trail? Well, he kind of followed and then he veered to the left a little ways up here. Closed captioning for Bone Wild TV is brought to you by Big Buck Bunker. We have a, another Jason here in camp. He's from North Dakota. First time he's ever been bear hunting. He'd been in the stand for about two hours before he called Bernie and said he had a bear down. So we all went over to his bait site, got on the blood trail, and didn't take as long to find that bear. So as Bernie would say, this bear was a toad, had a live weight of 374.8 or something like that. Jason's first bear, just, Jason, you're not gonna kill a bear bigger than that, I doubt it. Sorry, bud, might as well quit bear hunting right now. Shoulder, and uh, I was coming up this way. Yeah. 
and uh, so my heart obviously beating way out of my chest. Yeah, you're man, doing. that's a rush. <laughs> so I said, that's that 5:30 bear. I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> And so it came up this way, it was just, I mean, stomping just right along the trail, you know, getting after it, coming on up here to get a snack. And it got even with me right out here, and it was turned, it kind of turned in towards me to come in this way. And it stopped, and it looked kind of where I was, and did kind of one of these. And so I was just super, just as still as I could be, and just kind of doing this number. And then he kind of backs like this and turns to go the other way. So he didn't like it. So he didn't like it, so I was afraid he wasn't gonna come the rest of the way in. So I went ahead and got my gun up so if he turned sideways, I could take a shot. Well, then he turned left and went up this way and I'll show you when we get up there. And so as he was going this way, he reached a spot in between a couple of trees. And so I found vitals and squeezed the trigger. Okay. And I feel like I hit him. Um, and then he went off that direction. So we'll go see if we got where we're going. Okay. Like there's blood on this bear up here. Hey, Jason. Is this a good representation of a Minnesota bear? <laughs> this is slightly above average, I would say. When you right kill there, a bear right? yep. this size, do you know the best place he to kill have, one? The best right? place to kill one? If you want to kill one big, hook up with plenty of bears. No, <laughs> by the road. Yeah. By the road. So this is uh, the first year I've decided to run a bear outfitting business, and it's fantastic. To, I picked a great year to do it because there's a lot of bears on the baits, and I got a really good system that really works, and I got great area to hunt with both black bears and chocolate bears and it's been uh, uh it's been super fun and uh, you know i've bear hunted all my life written about bear hunting uh, got a bear hunting youtube channel and all that and uh this was just kind of a natural progression i guess is to start a business helping other people um, get bears and and I, I get just as much enjoyment out of helping someone else get a bear uh as i do out of getting bears myself so it's been uh, it's been been really good and and I'm very fortunate I got really cool people in camp and we've had a lot of fun um, and uh, we had a lot of rain probably didn't do as much fishing and and campfire stuff as we normally would but uh, we've we've had a great hunt and if you're interested in contacting me uh, just go to bucksbowlsbears.com and there's a link on the top there you just click on the bear hunting outfitter and uh, or just do a search for Bernie Behringer with bear hunting and you'll come up with more bear hunting stuff than you can stand. And, uh, there's, uh, you know, we'd love to have you start applying for points. It takes uh, four to five years to draw for this zone, but believe me, it's worth the wait. So next up to bat is Terry. Terry's from uh, Wisconsin. She's been applying for Minnesota permits going on five years now. Her husband, Don is going to be, well, Don's the one that was running around with the towel on. Yeah. But Don's going to be running the camera. See what happens. Bear Camp or North of Bolfi, Minnesota. Bernie just painted the baits for us. He's been working hard for two weeks. Good bear coming in here, even a color face. Terry's gonna hopefully shoot one tonight. Stick around with us, we'll show you some action.
she got to look like a good shot. Good job, Bernie. Nice boy. Hey, we've had a great time up here in Minnesota with Bernie Berenger. Minnesota's a draw state for bears, so don't expect just to give them one the first year. It's gonna take you four or five years. But these hunts are incredible. As you've seen, there are a lot of bear. There are some big bear. Get a hold of Bernie Berenger. Just a fabulous time. Make sure you join the Bone Wild crew on Facebook at facebook.com slash bonewildtv.